must my suit again. It's impossible to keep clean, this thing. You have wings. Ah, right, yes, forgot. Bit of a conversation stopper for you humans, isn't it? There we go. They're better? Ah. Uh, huh. You take care. All right. Today we're about to review um, the Netflix series Lucifer. Don't get scared when I say that name. <laughs> <laughs> you, you cruel, manipulative bastard. Is this all part of your plan? It's all just a game to you, isn't it? Hey. Well, I know punishment. And he did not deserve that. He followed your stupid rules, and it still wasn't good enough. So what does it take to please you? Break your rules and you fall, follow them and you still lose! Doesn't matter whether you're a sinner. Doesn't matter whether you're a saint. Nobody can win, so what's the point? What's the bloody point? This fucking show hooks you like a motherfucker okay because it's hilarious like this show it starts off funny like from the first episode like when he's getting pulled over by the police <laughs> Obviously you felt the need to exercise your limited powers and punish me for ignoring the speed limit. It's okay, I understand. <laughs> so I, I like to punish people too. Or at least I used to. License and registration. <sighs> Coming right up. Are you trying to bribe me, sir? Yes, of course. <laughs> Is that not enough? It take more, it's any money. It's against the law. Sir, <laughs> people are funny about your laws, aren't you? Okay, so it's about, of course, the devil. Okay, and it really gives you um, a different look on heaven and hell and um, the devil, you know. I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm just regular old Bella. I mean, how much help can I be in stopping the end of the world? Whoa. Still, you guys what? could have at least back up. What do you mean, the end of the world? I thought you told me that was all inside your head. Yeah, I lied. Because I figured you were just trying to throw me off the set. Uh, brother? Wait, are you guys telling me that you don't know the world is ending? can't be good and it's just like um who are we to say that it's not true who are we to say what the devil's like who are we to say what hell's like we've never been to hell perhaps you two could care to discuss what this is really about okay okay Okay, he comes down here judging every little thing, which is ironic because he made every little thing, made all of us imperfect, and then criticizes us for not measuring up. So Photoshop yourselfies, prepare ye the way for Mr. Judgy Pants. Is this one of those times when you say one thing and mean another? Because I certainly didn't invent that. If you're referring to sarcasm, I'm not sure I'm smart alecky enough to take credit for that. Smart being in the titles, which I'm sure you'll disagree. There it goes again. Okay. God, perhaps we should start with you. Has Lucifer done anything recently to anger you? Oh, of course not. I'm not angry about anything. <laughs> so what? You just banished me to hell for shiggles? Be honest. You were pissed that I threatened your superhero status and you were dying to punish me. You wanted me to suffer. It's impossible to make him happy. <laughs> if I give my opinion, I'm controlling. If I stand back and let him make his own decisions, 
I'm the distant father with the mysterious ways. Whatever I do, he assumes the worst possible intentions. That's because nothing is ever good enough for you. His brother, um, in the beginning, tries to tell him that he needs to go back to hell and run hell, but he's just like not going for that. His brother is Angel, okay? His brother Amenadel. <laughs> Menadil, how's it hanging, big guy? Huh? Your return to the underworld has been requested. Oh, right, okay. Let me just uh, check the calendar. Yeah, here it is. Uh, the 7th of never through to the 15th of ain't gonna happen. How does that work for you guys? <sighs> Look, remind Dad that I quit hell because I was sick and tired of playing a part in this play. I'm gonna warn you against disrespecting our father, Lucifer. Yeah, well, our father's been disrespecting me since the beginning of time, so pot kettle, don't you think? He comes to Earth and um, he meets um, the detective, right? And um, he starts like, he just basically invites himself to be her, her freaking partner, right? So he becomes a, you know, like a detective, basically, with, with um, the detective who was basically, um, you know, meant for him you know it was pretty much meant for him that god made for him funny because like even like he like doesn't have nothing to hide like he's so honest because you know that's his thing like he can't lie the devil can't lie the devil can't tell no lies so he tells everybody up front i'm the devil my name's lucifer they think it's funny like they don't really um believe that he's really the devil of course you know i'm the devil lucifer what are you doing detective it's time is lopez finally knew the truth i am the angel who led a rebellion against my father god I was banished to hell afterwards where I ruled as king over the souls of the damned. Lucifer, it all makes sense now. Damn it, I turned you straight for the I really did. Man, how? How do you stay in character like that? Oh, it's simple, really. It's all true. Oh, and my brother Amenadil, he's an angel. Oh, does he have wings? It does again, actually. <laughs> you think uh, he can give me a ride? <laughs> you should ask him. <laughs> this guy, you're so funny. Uh, why would you think that I'm not telling the truth, Miss Lopez? Oh, I stopped trying to figure that out years ago. I mean, hey, we all got our quirks, right? Ooh, mine is that I'm like, actually the devil. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah, so like when I saw his devil face, um yeah it, like it kind of freaked me out at first like i was just like fuck i don't i don't want to watch this like, i don't want to have bad dreams i don't know if i should be watching this or seeing things like this but you know what as more that more and more as i watch the show i got used to it and it was like nothing like you just see him and then he kind of turns into like his whole devil body but it, it kind of was like not scary it wasn't scary anymore once i kind of accepted it like okay this is, this, is, this is devil face but that don't mean shit that's just looks that's just his fate i sort of had to postpone my date with lucifer until we solved this case didn't want work getting in the way of me roofing the devil <laughs> well chloe you're just stalling aren't you are you having second thoughts Yes. Yes, everything that you've told me about Lucifer. You're finding it hard to believe. Yeah. Being around him again, I, I just don't see the same monster that you do. No, of course you're not. Have you met him? Have you ever had a conversation with him? No. No. He punishes people, um who do wrong, 
who do wrong so that's why he becomes a detective and he he wants to um you know because he, he likes to punish people who are wrong who are fucking killers who are fucking uh you know just out here doing bad and evil you know like the evil should be you know punished and so basically that's what he likes to do but um yeah like chloe the detective that he falls in love with she you know helps him to like okay no we're not gonna fucking punish him like that in that type of way like we're just gonna lock him up in jail or whatever so you know she helps him and then he goes and sees his therapist and then you see you know just like you see god come down and um yeah so they basically you know mad king the demon you know she has a lot of issues you know she later on she wants to just find a soul i'm a therapist being taken for granted is in the job description but like, for example, when a friend uses your lunch break for free therapy and doesn't say thank you. You want me to take care of this friend of yours? Yeah. It's fine. So how do you deal with it? I just realized that self-worth comes from within. You can't rely on others to validate you. I don't care what anyone thinks of me. Of course you do. We all do. And that's okay. That's human. I'm a demon. I actually think you're more human than a lot of people I know. Take that back. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're a good friend and a great person. Demon, you just need to realize it for yourself. Not because I said it. You're saying I'm awesome. I'm saying that you need to say that you're awesome. Believe that you're awesome. Yes, you're awesome. Hell yeah, I am. Thanks, Doc. Then Adam and Eve come in too. Like Adam and Eve come from heaven. And um, yeah, like Eve is so fucking beautiful and she's so cool. She's so funny. And um, yeah, she didn't even fucking want to be with Adam. Like they were like, put. they were the only fucking humans, the first humans on earth. So of course it was just like, them two who had to be together pretty much but um she, her first love was lucifer you know um so she you know was a lucifer and then it shows that give the devil a moment to reach us look what came in the mail today it's a me costume i can see does it make you want to come over here and um uh, it, does. <laughs> 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 <sighs> it is so great to finally have a boyfriend that actually likes to have fun. I don't know, I'm boom, bae. Still not caught up on the slang. Into the bedroom, I'll show you what else came in the mail. This is the crazy part when it shows, when it shows like hell, when it shows hell. Okay, look, this is supposed to be what hell's like. In this, in this, I have to tell you guys this. In this um, series, of course, heaven, you know, it shows heaven and it shows hell. Now, of course, heaven is, you know, like, you know, just fucking nothing but happiness and just beautiful right but hell of course okay now hell is of course you know dark and ugh. but <laughs> there's different rooms okay there's different hell doors when you get to hell okay so everybody's in a different hell door everybody's in a different room okay and basically um you go to hell if you have any guilt if you have guilt for something fucked up that you have done in the fucking world and you die with that guilt because obviously it was that fucking bad if you have if you feel the guilt right so you need to go to hell okay if you don't have no guilt when you die you go to heaven but if you have guilt you go to hell and when you die and go to hell this is your hell it's every single fucking 
day, every hour, every fucking moment, you're replaying your same guilt over and over and over and over and over again. That's what you're replaying. That's torture. So basically the demons that work in hell, the demons come in and they torture you and they play characters. Basically, whatever your fucking guilt is, like this one guy, um, he, I don't remember what happened, but he fucking, I think, left somebody in um, a car. They woke up in a car accident and then he left like his friend or someone to burn. And so basically when he went to hell, he fucking replayed that same shit over and over and over. Him getting out the car and leaving his friend. Then once that's over... It starts over him getting out the car and leaving his friend and that just hurt him it's just torture to leave to torture to go through your same guilt you know over and over and over so that's basically what hell is you know just you know you're being tortured with your guilt pretty much <laughs> of your own making, filled by guilt, with a little bit of flair thrown in for fun. Please, I need to get out of here. How do I get out? But well, it's quite simple. You can't. Not until you no longer believe you deserve it, and I've never seen anyone pull themselves out of here. Oh, God, no, 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 no. And damn, that is hell, you know, because it's like when you think about it, it's like, um, you know, it's just like if hell does exist, what the fuck, what the fuck, uh, goes on in hell like have you guys ever thought about that like how do they torture you in hell like you know like what really goes on like what that makes a lot of sense if you guys watch this uh show and you see just how everything goes down like it's it's fucking crazy you guys and it shows a, a lot of shit like even like with the police um even like in the what's really going on in real fucking life like even with fucking law enforcement it shows how the motherfuckers is racist as fuck you know how how they treat you know black people and shit how fucking they fucking treat them different and shit like that no no that can't be right get down on the ground get your hands in your head Listen, punk. I said, get down on the ground. Put your hands up. Hey, 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 you're hurting him. Sir, stop right there. Put your hands up. Put my hands. What? Why are you pointing your gun at me, officer? I've done absolutely nothing wrong. Put your hands on your head. No. All right, look. Well, you guys are just making a big mistake here, all right? Now, I have friends in the LAPD. Just let me call them. No, no, no. Please, just do what they say. You're hurting him. Put your hands on your head. Get off of him. I'm going to tell you one last time, asshole. Put your hands. I'm not putting my hands above my head. Don't let me shoot you. I don't want to shoot you. Put your hands on your head. Put your hands on your head. He's my friend. He's a friend. You okay? Watch it. Watch the show. I'm telling you. It's going to show shit like that in, in there too. It's going to show shit like that in there too. And it's just a lot of real shit. And it gets deep. And it gets real. And these are just little sn uh, sneak peeks, um, clips you know that um i threw up in here but this is nothing compared to the real deal like if you really sit there and watch all the fucking episodes like this show alone can give you a spiritual awakening like i'm not even bullshitting you guys for real 
for real, okay? Because you can sit here and you can listen to, you know, whoever made the devil into such a fucking bad person for punishing, you know, evil people, for punishing wrong people, you know, um, you know, made people fear him and think of the devil as, oh my God. But people really don't know even what happened to the devil in the beginning and how he became the devil. And just to understand his, the devil story is, is, is fucking mind blowing. It really is. It really is. And, um, yeah, like I said, I know this is just a show, you know, I'm not saying it's real life, but I'm telling you these shows be dropping gems, be telling you shit that's real, but we just think it's a show. We just think like, oh, this is just make believe, but really really that's why they started making shit about fucking viruses and quarantine and all that shit before all this fucking pandemic shit happened right that's why they were hinting to you guys that this shit's coming in fucking shows long before the shit even came right and now it's here like this shows be dropping um gems they be trying to hint to us and tell us shit but we're too close-minded to be like uh what's real uh, who knows oh this don't make sense you know oh it's just tv you know but it's just like what are we gonna go off of what are we going to go off of TV? What are we going to go off of books? I mean, who's to even say the person who wrote this book put all the facts in this fucking book? Straight up. Who's the, who, who's, who's to say that? Who's to say that they, that, that, that it's all facts and the Bible and the shit's not re rewritten a million fucking times and we should go by this fucking Bible and what this Bible says? You know what I mean? I'm just saying. You guys, tune the fuck in to Lucifer. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Do not be scared. Get over your fear. Face your fears. You know, don't let the word Lucifer, the name, fucking scare you off. Tune the fuck in. What are you even complaining about, Lucifer? You got your own kingdom as a reward for bad behavior. Is that how you say it? Being forced to torture souls for hundreds of thousands of years was an added boy. So, I was king of hell, but I was still in hell. If that's not a poison chalice, I don't know what is. You have no idea what that was like, how easy you had it. Easy? <laughs> I spent my entire life in the worst kind of hell there is. Lucy, Michael, come on. <sighs> what could possibly be worse? Sharing a face with you? Guess what? When your twin is the light bringer, turns out you have no choice but to live in the shadows. You were dealt the same hand, the same face, the same bloody shoulders, except you had a chip on your so big you managed to self actualize it. No, 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 there's nothing wrong with him. Don't be fooled. You have no one to blame but yourself for who you are. Lucy! Oh, I blame you plenty. Michael! Of course you do, you petty little children! <laughs> Um, I don't want to spill, I don't want to tell you guys like everything because I want you guys, I don't want to spoil it. Like I want you guys to go watch this series like for real. If I can recommend any series that, you know, I have watched this one, Lucifer, I'm telling you, it is so fucking good. Like, Go watch it. <laughs> go, go watch it. Okay, you guys. And look, um, I'm going to be doing, um, Subscribe to the channel because the next, uh, I'm going to give you guys a little uh, insight on the next spiritual um, Netflix series that I'm going to be reviewing. And the next show that I'm going to be reviewing is the show Manifest. I know you guys heard of that. It's a new show on Netflix called Manifest. I'm going to be doing that one next. So if you guys want to see that, stick around because I just finished that season. And subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss the review. Okay? Um yes okay and i'm over here giving my honest re honest reviews right here the show sucked the show's not good i'm gonna let you guys know but lucifer 
go watch that show i'm telling you right now that's the best fucking show on netflix everybody should be watching that right now like lucifer like and then when you get done with the show you just like the word lucifer devil seeing devil faces demons that shit don't scare you no more that shit don't even phase you no more like it's just like because you see the shit in a whole nother way like you know and it's just like more accepting and it's just like regular normal like i mean it is like it's part of the universe demons and, and shit like that that's part of the fucking universe you know and it's just like we don't fucking know how these demons fucking became demons or this show right here will really just like open your guys's eyes to like some real fucking shit like to some real spiritual shit like this show is really 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 spiritual and um it's just a good fucking show